Number 10. The Asian giant hornet is not only the biggest species of hornet in the world, it's also insanely powerful and it's responsible for taking 40 human lives in Japan each year. The reason that they're so deadly is that they deliver more venom per sting than any other insect. These giant flying tanks are extremely aggressive and completely fearless. As you can see in this picture, they're about the size of a human palm. A small group of hornets, maybe eight or nine, will roll up to a honey beehive and take out the entire colony. The hornets are five times larger than the bees. Plus, they're heavily armored. The honeybee stings might as well be boops. The hornets use their mandibles to tear off the honeybees' heads with lightning speed. One hornet can decapitate up to 40 honeybees in a minute. It's like if you combined Godzilla with the movie 300 and sprinkled in a little bit of the French Revolution. <laughs> it's a complete massacre. The Asian giant hornet is in many ways a modern insect version of the T-Rex. It's an apex predator that's capable of taking down any other insect that's unfortunate enough to disturb it. Number nine, the black spitting thick-tailed scorpion has one of those names that sounds like it's the title of a Pornhub video that you definitely should not click on. <laughs> or maybe do, I don't know what you're into. And no judgment here. Even though scorpions technically aren't bugs, as they're categorized under the class Arachnida, we had to include them on our list. Growing larger than four inches, this is one of the largest scorpions on the planet. The stinger at the end of that girthy tail can deliver 4.2 milligrams of venom, which is enough to make the lights go out for any human adult. And as far as potency goes, their venom is as strong as cyanide. This scorpion is found in South Africa. It spends its days resting in shallow burrows underneath rocks, and it spends its nights terrorizing insects, spiders, lizards, and even small mammals. What really sets this scorpion apart from the rest of the pack is that it can actually spit its venom up to three feet. If its aim is true, the venom can temporarily blind or even permanently damage its target's eyes. If you're exposed to their venom, you can expect symptoms like intense pain, sweating, muscular convulsions, drooling, and heart palpitations. Number eight. Coming up next, we have arguably nature's most disturbing parasite. The botfly's entire purpose in life is to mate, have a bunch of offspring, and infest mammals with its larva. And speaking on behalf of mammals everywhere, I can say that they're truly the worst. These flies lay parasitic and infection-causing larvae into the skin of warm-blooded animals. The baby larva will stay inside the host's body until it's mature enough to spring from the host's flesh. Gross. Once in fly form, the botfly looks a bit like a bumblebee. Their lifespan is only 9 to 12 days, and during that time, they're dead set on finding a mate and then laying eggs in another host. And the circle of terror goes on. Number 7. And the award for the most venomous insect on the planet goes to the Maricopa Harvester Ant. Let's put this tiny titan into perspective. The harvester ant's venom is about 20 times more toxic than the honeybee's venom and 35 times more potent than the western diamondback rattlesnake's venom. The harvester ant's bite and sting is a one-two punch. The ants will grab hold with their mandibles and then pivot around and start repeatedly stinging and injecting their venom. Harvester ants live across the southwestern portion of the United States and the northern parts of Mexico. And they get their name because they actively gather seeds as a food source. Pop quiz, hot shot! Insects are famous for being able to lift incredible weights relative to their size. But do you know which one of these tiny Dwayne Johnsons was recently awarded the title of the world's strongest insect? See if you can put the correct answer in the comment section below and stay tuned until later on in the video to see if you're right. Number six. Up next is a bug that proves that you should never judge a book by its cover. The pus caterpillar has a colorful and fuzzy exterior that basically shouts out, come cuddle with me 
have to resist their cuteness because these swindlers are loaded with venom. As you can see in this image, these caterpillars are covered in hair that, oddly enough, looks like it belongs on the head of the leader of the free world. The problem is that people all along the southern part of the Atlantic coast report excruciating pain after coming into contact with a pus caterpillar. This is the most venomous caterpillar in the US. Its hairs can break off in your skin, and this causes severe itching. But they also hide an unpleasant surprise sharp spines. Their spines are connected to venom glands and they act a lot like hypodermic needles. The pain from their injected venom is supposed to be crazy intense and last up to 12 hours. Number five, the African bee is commonly referred to by the simple yet terrifying nickname, the killer bee. Why were they awarded such a sinister moniker, you might ask? It's because once they get excited and aggressive, they're known to chase down a victim for over a quarter of a mile, and they've killed over a thousand people. The Africanized bee is a hybrid species. It's what you get when you mate a Brazilian bee with a African bee. They were first identified in Brazil in the 1950s, but they quickly spread throughout Central and South America. Today, hives are popping up all over the Southwest of the United States. And just to really make sure that they're known as the baddest bees on the block, they'll invade other types of beehives, kill their queen, and set up shop inside. You just got hive jacked, bro. Number four. This next bug is responsible for an estimated 10,000 human deaths every year. At first glance, the CT fly looks a lot like a house fly, but they have one horrifying difference a massive proboscis that they use to suck the blood out of anything that moves. Tsetse flies live in the tropical regions of Africa, and they've had a devastating impact on the people in that part of the world. Like the mosquito, they have a real knack for spreading disease from animal to animal, including humans. The most notorious illness that's spread by the tsetse fly is called sleeping sickness. It's a horrific two-stage disease that starts with intense fever, brain swelling, and joint pain. After two weeks, you move into the second stage, where you suffer from insomnia at night and then uncontrollable sleep during the day. And this all leads to personality changes. It basically turns you into a crazy person. It's this illness that leads to the high mortality rate connected with these winged threats. Number three, this ant is on fire. Fire ant is the common name for several species of ant in the genus Solenopsis. These spicy little devastators live in colonies of up to 250,000 ants. They're highly aggressive, and if you disturb the colony, the entire family is gonna come at you like it's that first scene from Starship Troopers. <laughs> Unlike most other ants, which bite you and then spray acid on top of the wound, fire ants will bite, but it's only to get a firm grip on their target. Once they've securely latched themselves onto their victim, then they start stinging. They have a stinger on their abdomen, which they use to inject the poor recipient with some special venom. For humans, this sting is supposed to be super painful, and it's said to actually feel like your skin is on fire, which is how they got their name. Fire ants are also super tough. They're like the cheap wranglers of the insect world. They're famous for their ability to survive in extreme weather conditions, including low temperatures that would eradicate most other ants. During Hurricane Harvey in Texas in 2017, clumps of fire ants were seen clinging together on the surface of the floodwater. Working together, the ants were able to make themselves into a raft. Each raft had up to 100,000 individual ants that together formed a structure that was able to float until they found a permanent home. Sucks to be the ant on the bottom. Number two. You'd think that an insect named the kissing bug would be like a fun, friendly bug that you could hang out with and maybe have brunch together. But no, all these things want to do is suck your blood and give you chagas. Also known as triatamines, these insects feed at night when the air is cooler. Carbon dioxide, which comes from your breath, attracts them while you sleep. Then they typically bite your lips or around your mouth, 
which is why they're called the kissing bug. So that's awful, but what makes it even worse is that they carry the Chagas parasite, which they can give to humans in just one bite. Unfortunately, thousands of lives are lost each year because of Chagas. It's answer time. <laughs> the dung beetle has been crowned the world's strongest insect. This mighty mite can pull up to 1,141 times its own body weight. That's equivalent to a human person lifting six double-decker buses. So how did this little beetle get to be so strong? Through the power of love. This beetle's amazing strength is directly connected to its sex life. The female dung beetle will go out and find a big piece of dookie in a field and then dig a tunnel beneath it where she can eventually lay her eggs. This is, by the way, why they're named the dung beetle. A male suitor comes along and protects the entrance of the tunnel from all invaders. What a gentleman! But if any other male dung beetle comes around and tries to swoop on the female, then the two guys brawl it out like it's the main event in WrestleMania. And the winner of the match is typically the one who gets the female. Number one. Coming in at our number one spot is a spider whose name strikes fear into the hearts of those who live in the tropical areas of South and Central America. The Brazilian Wandering Spider. Technically in the class Arachnida, these eight-legged nightmares are highly aggressive. Rather than building a web like most spiders, this spider will actively hunt during the night. What makes them extra horrible is that they'll typically hang out in protected shelters like human homes. The Brazilian Wandering Spider is a serious danger to humans, and they're considered to be the deadliest spider in the world. They've even made it into the Guinness Book of World Records for having the most potent bite of any arachnid. Their venom is toxic to our nervous system. Symptoms from one of their bites get pretty horrific. Your heart rate starts to spike, then you salivate uncontrollably. And if you're a man, you'll experience an unstoppable and painful erection known as a priapism. Because of this strange side effect, scientists are actively studying the venom of the wandering spider as a possible treatment for erectile dysfunction. So buy stock in this spider's venom, because it's on the rise. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, you'll love the one that we did on animals that like to pick fights. You can find that right there. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And check back soon for a new video.